Yes, and welcome back. This is, of course, the Fan Zone. And as usual, pleased to have a great team here. Mark Haimba. Oh, I should begin with Tira Swayaki <laughs> here. You know, to look on uh, in the opening session, the sports page is south. Karibu sana tena. Tiras, right? Asante. Mark. Thank you. Great one. And Wendy, good to see you. Good right? See you too. It's been a wonderful week for you, Wendy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's so unlucky that we predicted Arambi Stars mm -hmm. beating Cameroon mm -hmm. or maybe draw. Mm -hmm. And luckily we were beaten. Mm -hmm. And luckily yeah. indeed, yeah. right? Yeah. Now what does that mean to our chances of qualifying for the AFCON? Very low. Mm -hmm. We have a very low chance. Maybe to keep it Zambia. Is it Zambia? Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. and Namibia. Zimbabwe, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which we cannot promise that it is going to happen <laughs> with the coach we have. Uh -huh. No way. Uh, Mark, we should still count our chances. I think we still have 1% to qualify in case we will defeat Zimbabwe mm -hmm. and Namibia. Mm -hmm. So if we defeat Zimbabwe and Namibia, mm -hmm. we will have around 10, is it 10, mm -hmm. 10 points. Mm -hmm. 10 or but 11. Right now we are on 4, four plus 6, that will be 10. 10. Yes. Then if we defeat Zimbabwe and Namibia, mm -hmm. we will have 10. But, uh, then Zimbabwe will have 9 points. So mm -hmm. we will definitely qualify for the tournament. But as things stand, mm -hmm. I, sure. I don't give Harambe Stars a chance defeating Zimbabwe mm -hmm. at, their, at their home. So I think we should start saying Firat come next year mm -hmm. at the end. He should pack and go and also the senior team, I think it's high time they dismantle that senior team mm -hmm. and usher in the under 20 because yeah. true. Uh -huh. they are showing some signs of promise. So I think come in case they don't qualify or even if they qualify, mm -hmm. come next year, mm -hmm. at the end of next year, Firat, mm -hmm. Firat and the, the senior team, mm -hmm. I think it's high time we, they usher in the under 20. Mm -hmm. That is the project uh -huh. from uh, Babu Namwamba. Yes. yes. Let, uh, Tiras, let me ask you this. How should that transition happen? What are some of the key positions in the senior team that the young ones are knocking the doors on? We ha I can mention maybe one, um, Amos Wanjala, yes. right? The defender has been really outstanding. I think Aldrin Kibet should be getting one of those positions as well. But right. I don't know about you. Yes, you've got Ocheng as well. Mm -hmm. right Baron, yes. Uh, right Baron, uh -huh. a very promising player. Mm -hmm. right You've got William Wangi who had an outstanding game I don't last night. Uh -huh. Although it's still early for William Wangi uh -huh. because he's just started shining as far as I'm concerned. Yes. Tyrone Karaoke, not yet. He's not yeah, the he's finished product. He's not complete. Yeah, he, yeah. he loves dancing too much. <laughs> and <laughs> Be nice. and this this showmanship. Uh, and you've got... You, there's more to football than just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you watch Aldrin Kibet, he combines shooting. Yeah. He combines dribbling. dribbling yeah. He yes. combines running and with the ball. And yesterday he scored a solo goal. Yes, all the, that's just one of his combinations. Uh -huh. yes. So, I mean, you've got to do more than just that. Mm -hmm. And even now, I mean, when we talk of the changes, mm -hmm. even when you look at the technical stuff, mm -hmm. I think William Muluya, when you look at what he's doing at Kariobangi Sharks, and when you look at how passionate he is about Harambe's stars, and I'm not just saying this because I know him in person, and the fact that he got his cafe license mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. and you can see the improvement he's making as a coach, uh, f having s uh, since he graduated with the cafe license, mm -hmm. you can see it's reflecting in his It's the top team right now, joint top on 10 points yes. with KCBS. Yes. And sometimes I watch him when he's there with Harambe stars, he looks frustrated, Maybe because he can't make the final decision, decision you know, the yeah. backstops with yeah. the top man, yeah. who's Engine Ferrat, mm -hmm. uh, the head coach. I think William Uluya is a guy who we can look at as the next coach of Harambe Stars, mm -hmm. on a serious note. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. That's as far as um, Harambe Stars is concerned, but also, congratulations uh, uh, and to the And Manzala, last, the yeah. goalkeeper of yeah, the under-20 uh, yeah, side. Yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. We are forgetting. His line? Yes, also, we have Kevin Wangaya. Mm -hmm. the yeah, the guy who's been shining scoring yeah, oh goals yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th that boy plays in plays for FK Tehran. Yes, in yes. Albania, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. He's a nice boy. He's a prospect for yeah. the senior team. The future is bright, but at the moment, when you look at the senior team, the mid midfield department, uh -huh. he still has uh, two or three years to, to get in, break into the team. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, for you, Wendy, how soon should we have the under 20s filling in to like, the big shoes? Even right now. Because uh -huh. Arabistas are playing like Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. One of Fambo. Yeah, one of Fambo. <laughs> the real family. Actually, you want to celebrate? But they improved in this game. 
What? We, we can say they improved in the second game. Yeah, the okay, that's, second that's what Ambis does. They will fail in this one. The uh, next one, they will give you hopes. Then the, the other one, they will fail. or What we are calling start, stop, stop, start. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah but it's yes. usual in football, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, we also maybe more importantly, the under-20 through to the Africa Cup of Nations in next year in yes. South Africa. And they, but they have a... They have to. We have to go to the airport and and, and receive them when they have that yeah, trophy. The big trophy, yeah. right? The Sekafa under twenty trophy. The Kenya has never won it. Uh, yes. We always lose so it to sad. Uganda and you Tanzania. Know, and, and Tanzania. So I and like in twenty nineteen, we also with them in the final. Imagine but at that time, Tanzania. not two teams were going to the Afcons, yes. right? But yeah. this time around, I think it's so uh, beautiful for us. Kenya is building up to hosting the. Um, Chan next year, and it's, it's a good thing for us to be regulars in this tournament, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, whatever the age group is, yes. seniors and every, yeah. every should not be a, a big problem for us to qualify for AFCON, like but we are struggling right now. We have now. to prepare yeah. because uh -huh. every time we've gone to AFCON, mm -hmm. we are knocked out in the group stages. We better do so well. So we better do well yeah. so that when we go to AFCON next time, we're looking at beyond the group stages. A threat, yeah, we appear like a threat. I mean, and it, we have a it's a shame when Uganda go beyond the group stages and Kenya. Uh, Uganda <laughs> was the finals in 1970? 78. Yes. They, they lost, lost to Ghana. narrowly to Ghana, 2-1. Yeah. And then AFCON 2019, yeah. remember they made the knockout phase. Yes. yes. And around that time, or just shortly thereafter, almost qualified for the World Cup mm -hmm. of 2022. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I mean... Uganda struggled to, to draw with us, let alone to beat us. Uh, we've, so what happens to us mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. we go beyond the Migingo Derby? Mm -hmm. uh, what <laughs> happens to us? Uh, what, why do we get weak in the knees? Uh, mm -hmm. So, yes, the talent is there, but it mm -hmm. takes more than talent. Yes, indeed. Now, on to the subject here, subject matter, which is the English Premier League or European football if you may ask me but big games coming up this particular week and also it's interesting that we after the international break no coach has been sucked <laughs> yes um many were expecting ten hag was in danger he was almost going but uh -huh. i think i think they did, they did what, 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 what has my, made my him to stay to remain in his position maybe he's promising words Promising words, they not performance, Mark? I think the new management mm -hmm. want, wants, wants to have patience with him and see how, how far can he go. Mm -hmm. But in the next six or seven games, mm -hmm. in case the results won't, won't improve, mm -hmm. I think Ten Hag won't be Manchester United. Do, you, I, I mean, do you think that maybe Ten Hag is just a bit lazy because out of like 11 signings that he did, all, not, almost all of them were from uh, the Dutch? Do you think he's just lazy or he mm -hmm. cannot research over and beyond Dutch football? I think the moment he signed those players, mm -hmm. personally I criticized him because mm -hmm. he's going for th those players, he used them when they were, at their, they were in form. So, Prime, yeah, but yeah. at the moment, their mm -hmm. form is below the standard that requires to play for Manchester United. Mm -hmm. So I, he went for them just to save his job, but at English Premier League, mm -hmm. you cannot just go for someone to save your job. You mm -hmm. have to go for the quality, mm -hmm. not just for the quantity. Mm -hmm. But they did suck a former coach, yes. Manchester United. Sadly. Yes, um, That's Alex Ferguson, of all yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, he's now no longer the ambassador. Because cutting measure, do you agree Manchester with that? United. And a man who has a stand ne As a director, yeah. he mm -hmm. was sitting on the board. Mm -hmm. So now he won't be enjoying that director's box from which we usually see him what, as he's, what, as what's he's the watching the games. Yeah. And they're saying um, cost-cutting measures, that's just a PR way of saying I mean, how do you get... I mean, at least ha let him have his mm -hmm. director's box. Yeah. We always associate Manchester United with Sir Alex Ferguson. Yeah, the legacy to Sir Alex Ferguson with Manchester, Manchester, Manchester yeah, United. Yeah, yeah. We forget about his exploits at um, Aberdeen, uh -huh. where he was able to win the European Cup, Winners' Cup, he uh, beat Real Madrid uh -huh. in the final. I mean, this guy is Manchester United, and Manchester United him. is him. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a better way of showing him the exit door, a, a more respectful mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. uh, without, I mean, cost cutting measures, Sir mm -hmm. Alex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, 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 what's what's uh, uh, Sir, Sir Jim Bradcliffe up to, the owner, the co owner? You know, according to them, they say that they are cutting the costs down, mm -hmm. but. Cutting They've Sir really sucked a lot of people. Yeah, though. but cutting uh -huh. Sir Alex Ferguson, he's an icon. So mm -hmm. again, his presence motivates the players to mm -hmm. perform better. So I think they should just have left him because you can see they have also 
prevented him from entering the dressing room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you find out maybe there is something they are up to, not just the cost mm -hmm. cut. So at Manchester United, there yeah. could be maybe three problems, but you can tell me uh, which is the biggest problem. Infrastructure, remember, Ronaldo really went back like, with the, when he came <laughs> back and found like the same old machines. Infrastructure. Not moving infrastructure, the players or the coach? I think. One, mm -hmm. the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Two, they get players who are not to the standard of playing. So the players court. are part of the problem. Yeah, too. the attitude of the players. Mm -hmm. We find that the player they don't play for the coach. I think the players have their personal, like the player power mm -hmm. is high at Manchester United, whereby uh -huh. the player uh -huh. can decide. W can decide the dressing room. Yes, which so Mr. Hag is not in charge of the dressing room. I, I want to believe he's not because even Jose Mourinho had the same problem yes. with the yeah. dressing room. Yeah. Uh, Ole Gunnar at some point also he yeah. had the same problem. Yeah. So I think the only manager who managed to 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 have the dressing room was Alex Ferguson. But yeah. after and that, and he took it the hair dryer moment. <laughs> yeah. So you saw during his time uh -huh. he could he, he sold Ronaldo. Yeah. No player he was sold Beckham. Yes. Even no Beckham. no player mm. was big at Manchester United. But at the moment you can see Rashford is not playing well. Sold Roy Keane. But. Yeah, it's all right, kid. Yes, mm -hmm. but when we you substitute him, you can <laughs> see him throwing hands because he feels like I'm, I'm the guy, yeah. Yeah, the manager. You have nothing to tell me. So uh -huh. I think the player power is also. I think that is the biggest problem at Manchester uh -huh. United. They, they are playing West Ham tomorrow. Uh, when do you think will be the Brentford. result here? Manchester. West yes. The, yeah. Tomorrow. Brentford today. Brentford. today. Yeah. They are playing. Brentford. On, on Sunday? Today. Oh, wait, wait. Today. Brentford today, yeah. Yes. I went a little bit too no, more. It's, it's okay, to it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm um, getting my opinion for Sterling tomorrow. And it's actually today. Yeah. I went a little so bit more matches I'll, I'll ahead. Drive, I'll take That's, this opportunity uh, to clarify. I'm just actually looking at the 22nd yes. fixture, yeah. Manchester mm -hmm. playing Brentford, West yes. uh, Brentford, Brentford, really a good, uh, I'll say that good defense, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. solid team. Mm -hmm. I yeah, feel it's like, a solid team. I, I mm -hmm. feel like Manchester is going to suffer again. I, I mean, and, and with all that, that, yeah. They really, they're really going to suffer. Well, my fans were JK. Uh -huh. Quite ready. <laughs> and with all that that we're talking about, really, it looks like it's a poisonous environment already. Uh, I think playing against Frank, the Brentford manager, mm -hmm. we have seen mm -hmm. Pep Guardiola praising him. At the moment, Brentford are playing mm -hmm. some nice football. I think the best result Manchester can get is mm -hmm. a draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and against and Brentford. Point number three that um, he didn't make, so let me just changia. Yes. But uh, with Manchester United. <laughs> yes. Yes. His ownership. Uh -huh. The Glazier brothers, very yeah, controversial. Sa Sa and Jim now Ayo have also in. entered yeah, that yeah, mix. Yeah, yeah. Even they are now becoming uh, less favorites of. I mean, watch Manchester United podcasts by fans yeah. themselves. Listen yeah. to them talk. Yeah. They're now throwing Ainios into the same mix that they've thrown the Glazier brothers before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are becoming very, very unpopular, but, but especially really after showing Sir yeah. Alex Ferguson the exit of yeah, the way they did. Yeah, but the owners and, and mm -hmm. the fans, most of the times, they're always on collision course, right? Oh, this time with Manchester United. You know, there's a breakaway Manchester United team formed by fans. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. So, <laughs> am I right or wrong? Yeah, right. <laughs> absolutely right. How often does that happen? <laughs> it's rarely, uh. rarely happens. Anyway, so what? what uh, big match this particular weekend? Chelsea, yes. Liverpool tomorrow. Let, let mm -hmm. me just say. I feel like Liverpool, Liverpool, okay, Liverpool. These are two teams that play almost the similar style. So what will happen this particular uh, game? Chelsea is a very good team right now, and they might beat Liverpool, mm -hmm. which will be advantage to Arsenal and Man City. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, looking at Liverpool. I, uh, yeah. I think the, uh, Liverpool against Chelsea, I think Chelsea might be might win that match. Looking at the previous meetings, again, Chelsea has had a very better, not a better season, but when playing against these big teams, Chelsea mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. show up. So mm -hmm. I think tomorrow Chelsea will show up and maybe the best result Liverpool can get tomorrow what, is what, a draw. Yeah. What, what will be the deciding lines? Deciding lines. Jackson can really stretch teams. I think the goalkeepers will have to be at nice. their best. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. The goalkeepers will have to be at their best. That, yes. That's a good point. And also maybe one more, another Newcastle and Brighton. Newcastle really, I think they have a chance to stay among the top five, knowing that they are not in European football. But some of their players have to be at their best, right? Like the goalkeeper. Nick Pope has been ish ish this particular matches. It, it, mm -hmm. just, just before that, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Chelsea Liverpool will be a bit like AC Milan, Ajax of Amsterdam, mm -hmm. 2003 UEFA Champions mm -hmm. League semi final. Mm -hmm. uh, it's youth on the side of Chelsea mm -hmm. versus 
senior players on mm -hmm. the side of Liverpool. Mm -hmm. So end-to-end -end football there, mm -hmm. it could be, he said a draw, it could mm -hmm. be a high-scoring draw mm -hmm. or a low-scoring draw. So 3-3 three, three or 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. But it's 90 minutes. The team that snoozes, loses. Mm -hmm. You have to play f the full 90. Brighton, Newcastle. Yes. Brilliant stuff. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes very promising sides. Yes. Sometimes a bit on and off. Mm, especially Newcastle. Yes. Really letting in goals. <laughs> especially Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah. But when they play at home, mm -hmm. are they playing at St. James's Park? Yeah, they'll yeah. be at home. Uh, Newcastle are very consistent at home. Mm -hmm. That's where their advantage comes in. Mm -hmm. their, their strength plays out it's when also they play the, at home. It's also the seat of FA, right? Yeah. St. James's Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> the seat of power. Anyway. Yeah. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, that power didn't play out um, <laughs> <laughs> when they were replacing the England manager. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they yeah. Brought oh, in Thomas, Thomas Tuchel. Tuchel. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, from Germany. Yeah. And he's um, Only the former time Chelsea foreign. coach. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, head coach. He is won the for Champions League. He's a winner. Chelsea, 2021. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, he's a winner, but he hasn't been tested at What's international like level. For Mark? Uh, I, I think... When they picked Tuchel, yeah. They didn't pick Eddie Howe. Yeah. yeah. yeah England they are, they Eddie are Howe. more for... They wanted Guardiola to say something, Mark. They, they want easy success. That's why they are. Oh, they, oh, they no. wanted Guardiola because they know Guardiola is a very nice manager. They saw Manchester City reluctant to... To let him go. go, so they go for. T they went for Tuchel because he's he out of won, contract. He out of no contract. Yeah. He has won the Champions League. So mm -hmm. their their problem, you know, the problem with England national team is not even the managers. Mm -hmm. I think it's their setup. No, setup. Uh, yeah, a little bit of the setup, but again, the, their way of play. Because when you look at the English Premier League. The foreign managers that are the one deciding the style of play that is being played in the English. They have Premier. more influence. Yeah, so uh -huh. I think that's who I again that's maybe a point maybe uh -huh. they went for, but uh -huh. uh, English media has always they are criticizing the decision. They wanted an English manager, so I, I ask myself who. So he joins the list. Yes, he joins yeah, the list of Fabio Capello. Yes, and who else? Uh, the late Ben Gurren Eriksson, right? Arsenal playing Bournemouth. Uh, really, it looks like a walkover for Arsenal. Of course, uh -huh. but uh, another good news, <laughs> Odegaard is coming back in November. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I think it won't be a walkover. Uh -huh. Bournemouth are always at their best when playing against top teams. So uh -huh. Arsenal will win, but they will struggle uh -huh. to win. Just like they did against Southampton. In yes. the last we were reluctant. Yes. And uh -huh. against we were reluctant with we Southampton. <laughs> and against Leicester the week before, mm -hmm. you yeah. remember. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Your predictions of uh, matches of your choice, a big match, of course, uh, Liverpool-Chelsea on Sunday. That's that one I've more or less given. Uh -huh. I said high-scoring draw, 3-3 three, three, or 1-1, uh -huh. one, one, low-scoring draw. Uh -huh. uh, what else? Arsenal, who are they playing Bone against? Mouth. Bone mouth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Arsenal, late win, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Struggle to win. Mm -hmm. And Manchester United guess might lose to yeah, Brentford, Brentford. I think so. Uh, Mark, your predictions? Mm. Chelsea, Liverpool, Chelsea, two, Liverpool, one. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Two, two, draw. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then Manchester. Yeah, they should draw points. I know when they play. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Manchester, Brentford, draw, nil, nil, or uh -huh. Brentford win, two, one. Uh -huh. Then uh -huh. Arsenal against Bournemouth. Mm -hmm. 2-1 two, two win mm -hmm. for Arsenal, but mm -hmm. a, late, mm -hmm. a late win for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. yes. Wendy, your predictions? Well, Arsenal, uh, Arsenal will win, maybe 3-1. Uh -huh. uh, Chelsea, Liverpool, there might be a win uh -huh. for Chelsea or a draw. Uh -huh. uh, Manchester will be a uh -huh. pig or killer six. Uh -huh. and also, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, I still remember that Leicester we played Southampton. Southampton haven't won any game so far uh, this particular season. And Leicester only have one win from their... Uh, from the, this particular campaign. That's how it pans. Most people putting their money on Chelsea against Liverpool. Let's see how it goes on Sunday. But uh, Manchester United, Brentford today. Mm -hmm. We don't know how it will go, right? Yeah. What did Good. you pick, Mark? What did you say? Mm, draw, or a draw or Brentford to win. Yes, that's, that's how coming from a Manu fan. Yeah. Hey, that's my how girl. We end it. Thank you so much for being part and parcel of the show today. It's been beautiful. It's been awesome. See you again next Saturday. Thank you so much, Tira Soyaki. Thank you very much. Right? Uh -huh. For always making time, Mark and Wendy. Thank see you. you. Yeah. See you again next time. See you too next Saturday. But keep it Y254. From Bernardo Kumu, great weekend ahead.